Hi, I'm Patty with Comox Business Systems. Today we're taking a look at SecurePrint. SecurePrint is a great tool for document security. SecurePrint eliminates jobs getting lost or intermingled. It allows others to print large jobs without any interference. It would allow you to change paper types after you send your job to the copier rather than before. Plus, you can send your document to the copier and retrieve it at your own leisure. Basically, you assign a code at the PC level and key in that same code at the copier to retrieve. And once it's printed, it will automatically delete. So let's take a look at how to set up a little quick button for secure print. And then we're going to go and go into the process of sending a secure print document and retrieving the secure print document. So let's get started on setting up the little quick button. So you're going to touch Utility, and you're going to go to Administrator, and you're going to type in Top Secret Biz Hub code of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 through 8. You're going to select OK. On the home screen here, you're going to go to System Settings, and you're going to scroll all the way down and look for Main Menu. Hang on, we're getting there. Main menu default classic style. Okay, once this screen pops up, you're going to come over here under the function name and you're looking for the next available uh, function. So we're going to go to where, the one that says not set. Okay, so now we want to edit that key so that we can uh, name our box right here. Alrighty, so we're going to go under the function name to name the box. And it is actually a system user box function. So we're going to go to system user box. And secure print is already selected. So that's what we need. And we're just going to select OK. And OK. Now if you go back to your home screen, you'll see that secure print is right here on your main screen now. And I'll just select it here to show you what you're going to be keying in. Right here where it says document ID, once you assign that on your PC, this is where you will go to retrieve it. Let's take a look at how to send a secure print document to the copier. So once you pull up your document, you're going to do a file, print. Make sure you have the right Konica Minolta driver selected. You're going to go to properties. And you want to choose anything that you want to send with your documents, such as stapling, uh, two-sided color, those type things. So you're going to come over to your output method. And it's always defaulted to print. So what you want to do is drill down and select Secure Print. Now the first time that you select that Secure Print box, the box will pop up and allow you to put a code in it. Now thereafter, second time and on, that box does not pop up. So the way you access that box is to go to User Settings, and you can see Secure Print, and I already have my code in there. And what it will do, it will store that code each time so you don't have to go in there and put a new code in unless you decide to change your code. So I always leave my password blank. Um, we're just going to touch OK. OK. And basically you're just going to hit print just like you're sending or printing uh, the document to the copier, but you're printing it into the secure print box. And that's how you send your document. So let's take a look at how to retrieve the secure print document that we just sent to the copier. So you're going to touch your home screen and you're going to go to the button that we set up earlier that says secure print. We're going to type in our document ID and remember I used one, two, three, four and I left my password blank so I didn't have to key in so many things. So then I'm going to touch OK and here's your document. So at this point you can highlight your document or if you had multiple documents you can touch select all and it'll print them all off at one time. So then we're going to come over to print and touch start. That's all we need to do. Now if we forgot to do something like staple or uh, do two-sided, your menu pops up down here so you can always add it at the end but it's best to send your settings with your document. So now you know how to set up your secure print box you know how to send a secure print document to the copier and how to retrieve it. 
Uh, I've also included a printable PDF uh, so that you can follow along at your own leisure. And if you have any questions, please call me or email me. Thanks for watching our video today.